What? Was you... This stranger stole all of my stuff in like two seconds. But I had no idea that he would soon steal my heart as well. My name is Jillian, and this is my love story. You got the wrong girl, boy! This fool didn't think that I could track the GPS on my laptop. I immediately called the police and gave a detailed description of the thief. Idiot. What, forgot your keys again? You can't run away from me, my friend. Are you a cop? No. I'm a prosecutor. And the police are already on their way. I will personally put you in jail for a very long time. Now, where's my stuff? Do you really think I'm gonna give up that easily? Oops, should have thought of that before I came here alone. I had no idea how to escape from this madman. Now you're my hostage. He will regret it if you pull the trigger. <laughs> really? He's just a disgrace. Is that why you're shaking so? What? Not so fearless and powerful when you're not in your expensive office with the security guards, are you? Relax, I'm not a madman. <laughs> I knew you were bluffing. Oh, really? People like you only know how to lie and steal. Yeah, exactly the same thing I can say about you. Officials, you better not get me mad. <laughs> or what, you will use the lighter again? I have more than just toys. <laughs> uh. I couldn't figure out who was in front of me, a mad criminal or just a thief trying to intimidate me. But then... Stay away from my father or I'll crush your face! Hey, watch your mouth, young lady! Come on, put the bed down. Hey, don't worry. Listen, why don't you go and wash your hands? We're gonna have sandwiches. Go, 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 go! If you want to turn me in, go ahead. But I need to feed my child. I knew I could leave, but something seemed to be holding me back. Maybe this man committed a crime just for the sake of his daughter. Hey, come on, sit down. And here you go. Bon appetit. How can you steal when you have a daughter? Okay, listen. I have some low issues, okay? So it's hard for me to find a to find a job. A real job. Really? Maybe you really didn't want to. And what do you know, doll? All you know is how to take care of your beautiful face and your girlish body, huh? My beautiful face? Weird. I haven't had anyone call me beautiful for a hundred years, let alone girlish. Do you know how hard it is to raise a child when you're deprived of everything? Come on, you think I steal just to live my luxurious life? Come on, lady, not everything is black and white. And then I realized that I simply have no right to deprive this girl of her father, whoever he might be. Lily, now we're going to play hide and seek, okay? So you have to sit here quietly and hide, okay? Right. You're gonna pay for this, but not just now. Okay. Oh, that took you long enough. You should have just waited until tomorrow. I don't care if you turn the city upside down, but don't come back without him. What are you waiting for? Go! 
fall to the police for the sake of a criminal. I didn't recognize myself, but whatever. I felt sorry for the girl. And there was something about this guy. So, why are you helping me now? I thought you wanted to put me away. Where's the girl's mother? Ah, uh, she's in a land of I don't care about my child anymore. Let's not talk about it. Dad, why don't you invite your friend over for tea with us? Oh, it's because my friend is used to eating out in a fancy restaurants. I couldn't take my eyes off the little girl and was amazed that her father had taught her all the manners. Hmm, he was too strange for an ordinary thief. I would love to have tea with you. So what's for dinner? Oh, unfortunately, only sandwiches. <sighs> okay, polite people don't go rummaging in somebody else's fridges. I'm going to get something to eat. We don't need handouts. Beautiful lady, can you bring me back some pistachio ice cream? Oh, you want some pistachio ice cream? Right, okay. I'll bring some, I promise. What's your name? It's Jillian. Thank you, Jillian. At that moment, the girl's father seemed to have ceased to be a criminal in my eyes, but I had no idea that this was part of a much bigger scam. I'm not leaving until I cook a proper dinner. <laughs> You're a strange prosecutor. At first you sent the entire police department to search for me, and now you're preparing dinner for us. I'm not only a prosecutor, I'm also a human being. After dinner, we started talking, and he finally opened up to me. I, I grew up in a poor family. I had to escape to the big city, and uh, I actually worked as a hot dog vendor. Yeah, but then Lily showed up and uh, Everything changed, got more, more, more complicated. Do you, do you have kids? I'm afraid to get a fish. Okay, why so? I mean, many people in the city know me, like many, but um, men, men, they just want to use me. You know, they won't ask me out because I'm nice and I'm a good person, but they just want my money and my status. That's nonsense. I mean, why? Ask my ex-husband. <laughs> Listen, I... I think you're really beautiful. Hey, I'm, I'm not kidding. I mean, honestly, you're, you're smart, you're interesting, you're, you're clever, and your legs are... Whew. I mean, wow, your legs are something else. <laughs> honestly, if I'd be your husband, I wouldn't divorce you. We talked until the early in the morning. I've never been so at ease with anyone. Apparently, I drank too much wine and lost control of the situation. I didn't even notice we were kissing until it was too late. And then I started coming almost every day. I became very close with little Lily and David and I began to have real feelings. I didn't care about his past. I even ordered the police to stop looking for him. But then, one day it happened. Hey guys! I forgot my... At that moment, I realized that it was all a scam to rob me, leave me with a little girl and run away forever. A criminal can never be corrected. Lily, why are you crying? Where's your mom? Maybe I can take you to her. Mom and dad dumped me and ran away. He was conspiring with your mom all this time? Who is he? 
Hey! What are you doing here? What are you talking about? Idiot. I was an idiot for believing you. I mean, of course you are a criminal. You and your wife left Lily. Okay, you've misunderstood everything. Oh, really? I mean, you will tell that to the police. Your daughter told me everything. She's not my daughter. What? Her parents left her three years ago, and I've been taking care of her ever since. However, Lily and I, we have to move from time to time, okay? Listen, I have some immigration issues. I am not a resident and my visa has expired and I can't leave Lily. Otherwise, she'll be put into foster care and I can't, I can't allow that. Right, so these are the legal issues you were talking about and that's why you cannot get a job, but why was she crying? She always cries when we move to a new place. Sometimes I wonder Listen, do you actually think that I, that I could hurt you? Come on. You and Lily are the best thing that happened to me in my entire life. I'm sorry. How can I make it up to you? Kiss him! <laughs> oh. I was lucky. A thief stole my heart, not my wallet. And I realized that love is above the law. Hi, come here. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Gary, the showrunner of Dramatizing. Nice to see you guys again. We are about to hit 2 million subscribers and now we really need your help. Like, share this video and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Take care and see ya!